What's up everyone, I'm Silvio Perez. I'm the founder of Ad Conversion. We teach B2B marketers how to scale paid ads with free advertising courses taught by the world's best practitioners. And in this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how to install the X, AKA known as Twitter Pixel in four easy steps. Let's get into it. So step number one is to create a free Twitter ads account. Just navigate to this article. I'll link it in the description box down below, but Twitter shows you exactly how to create your X account, I gotta get used to saying X, <laughs> but essentially you're just gonna follow these steps, it's super simple and you'll get up and running. Once you do have your Twitter ads account installed, the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna come here in your Twitter ads account and you're gonna wanna navigate towards tools and then the events manager. When you do that, it's going to ask you to add an event source here on the top right. You're gonna click on that, you're gonna click I agree and now we need to install our pixel. Cool thing about Twitter is they actually support the ability to use the conversions API. So if you wanna be able to send server to server events offline conversions, you can do that with Twitter. We'll talk about that in a future video, but for the sake of this video, let's talk about installing the pixel. So you can do it with the pixel code or you can do it with Tag Manager. We're gonna use Tag Manager. So click on that and then copy your pixel ID. And really important, make sure that you allow first party cookies. It's very important, especially as these web browsers are getting more sophisticated in terms of how they deal with third-party cookies. So I highly recommend you leave that on. It's gonna really help boost your retargeting audience. Now we're gonna move over to Google Tag Manager and we are going to create a new tag here. And let's go ahead and make sure that we have a proper naming convention. So I'm gonna call this Twitter Ads Pixel. Again, I gotta remember to call this thing freaking X. <laughs> And I'm gonna have my trigger to be all pages. And for the tag configuration, just go ahead and click on the search bar and search for Twitter. And then you'll see from the customer gallery, the community gallery, there's this Twitter-based pixel that was already created by someone. And you're gonna drop the pixel ID here. And then for triggers, you're gonna set this to go on all pages, and then you're going to save this. And that's it. You haven't set up your Twitter pixel tag and tag manager. Last but definitely not least is to preview the tag. So I'm gonna click preview here in Tag Manager, open up my website, and we wanna make sure that it's firing properly. So let's go ahead and check that out. Coming back here, I had one page load, which is uh, noted right here on the left. And what I wanna look for is my Twitter pixel. And I wanna make sure that it only fired one time and I'm not having duplicate page triggers because if it is, it's gonna inflate my audience size and it's not actually gonna be a true sense so if we look here, we can see we have two Twitter pixels installed. So I had the one from before and the one just now for the sake of demonstration. So if you have duplicate tags, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you remove duplicate tags so you don't have duplicate data. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take a look here at the amount of times that it fired. So you're looking for the count of one. If you see it's fired more than once and you only had one page load, that is an issue and you need to go back to your trigger of all pages and, and debug it and see what's going on. So that's it, it's really that simple. We've installed the Twitter ads pixel. Now I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna sit and submit my changes. Always make sure you submit proper version changes that are understandable. Twitter ads pixel deployed, and then I can go ahead and publish it, and that's it. Uh, you've installed the Twitter ads pixel. So I hope this video was helpful. This video is part of a multi-step series that we have together in a playlist where we're showing you how to get up and running with creating an, uh, you know, a B2B remarketing strategy across channels. So go ahead and check that in the description box down below and I'll see you in the next video.